This is the fastest way to build a data analyst portfolio. A portfolio that can take a beginner starting from zero to their first data analyst job, and it's a portfolio that's tailored to what recruiters really want, instead of just playing a guessing game. If you don't have a portfolio, employers are going to laugh at your application, and even then, most people have no idea what they're doing. Just having a portfolio is not enough. So today, you'll learn how to create a portfolio recruiters absolutely love. And it's actually pretty easy. You don't need to spend months doing projects, and you do not need any coding or design skills whatsoever to set it up. If you follow the simple strategy, you can have your first portfolio up within a few days for free. And I'm not just going to ask you to blindly trust me. I'm going to show you a five-step process to create this portfolio. The first thing we're going to do is look at the data. And I'll leave all the resources at the end, so don't worry. This site has gathered data from real job listings to see what skills employers actually look for. We're going to select data analyst and take a look at the skills. Around 50% of the job listings require you to have some SQL skills, and around 30% look for Microsoft Excel, another 30% on Python, and around 24 and 20% on Tableau and Power BI each. And R, the other programming language alternative to Python, gets 16%. And these are the most important skills. Next, we'll need to have something to put in your portfolio before creating it, right? There's really no reason to have a house without rooms or furniture in there, and the portfolio is only a structure itself. Now, we already know the skills skills that employers are looking for. And this is a step I call becoming credible. It really doesn't matter how good you are unless you can show it. And it also means that if you can present your skills in a fantastic way, you can actually get the job instead of somebody with even better skills than you. And that is why we do projects. I'm going to make a detailed video, but let's cover the most important things right now. You can start doing guided projects, which are available on sites like Coursera for a small fee or on YouTube completely for free. Nowadays, you can even ask ChatGPT for some ideas and just get started that way. Once you understand the fundamentals, then move on to creating your own projects. This is where you decide the actual problem or objective and how to approach it yourself. Are you going to use SQL or Tableau or both? That's for you to decide. Now, if you've only done guided projects, you can still use them. If you add things and make it more personal to you, it could still suit very well for your portfolio. Just don't add a basic project like everybody else. I'm sure the recruiter has seen it a thousand times already. So the next step is critical. And most people actually fail at this step, which is why they're not able to get a job. It is building the portfolio itself. But there are many different ways to do this. And I've seen many people waste time on the wrong type of portfolio. We're going to clear everything up. The first type can be created on GitHub. GitHub is a platform for developers, but also for data analysts. You can upload your project, your code, and your documentation, and it's free to use, and you can then share your projects through a simple link, or even your entire profile if you have more projects on GitHub. But it's not the best way. Another option is to use Kaggle, and the site is similar, but tailored to data science and analytics. It has some limitations, but it's also free, and whatever you choose is up to you. But there are two more ways than what I just mentioned, and they're actually much better as well. I want you to understand all the options, and then we'll pick the one that's best for you at the end. So the next portfolio is something that you build yourself. And this does not have to involve any coding. You're not applying for a developer job, but you can use a website builder or WordPress to start creating a basic portfolio. I personally recommend Wix because they have some templates that you can start customizing really quickly. And it's super simple to set up. Now your site is not supposed to contain your entire project. Rather, a common approach is to keep your code and details on Kaggle or GitHub. Your site is just like kind of a storefront or gallery where you summarize the project, you add some nice visuals and some other information about you. If people want to dig deeper into the project and its code, just link them to the other site. Now, in 2025, you don't even have to do all this stuff if you don't want to. We have a lot of new technology, and there's a way that's even easier. So let's head over to another website that's completely free. I'm not sponsored or partnered with them in any way. I just think it's a pretty cool platform to build your portfolio with ease. You can use their portfolio builder, input your project information, and boom, you have a portfolio ready to go. It also looks really nice. It contains your projects, summarizes the skills, and a quick description, and a button to read more if they want to. You can also add other things like your experience, your education, and your contact information. And there are roughly 30,000 people using the site at the moment, and that's only going to grow. But again, the site you choose is up to you. Now, how many projects do you need? Well, there's no perfect number, but less is generally more. Keep them high quality rather than adding too many, as the recruiter is only going to look at one or two anyway. I would say that two to four projects is a good way to start. But wait, we're not done. And if you screw up this last part, nothing else matters. And it would be so sad to see you go all the way there through the steps we covered only to fall on the finish line. You're so close, just get this last step correct and the job is yours. So during an interview, you may be asked to present one or a few of your projects. And this is a great way to show your communication skills, but also that you made the project and that you really understand it, that it's not just something that you copied or quickly from a tutorial. You see, if you cannot talk about your project, how can they even know that it's yours? So here's a quick way to present your project and impress the recruiter. Start with mentioning the problem or the goal of the project. Why have you decided to do this? There must be some good reason for it, right? If you find this part difficult, 
disabled, I would pick a better project that's more personal to you, that you can motivate and that you can reason about. Next, mention the data source where you retrieved your data from, as well as the tools you used. You can say that I used SQL to aggregate some data and I used Tableau to visualize my findings. That's a simple example. The most important part is yet to come. So you want to highlight the key insights, how you got to them and how your insights can help solve the problem or the goal of the project. This is assuming you're doing an end-to-end -end project. Otherwise, just pick out the relevant parts of the project that you're going to be talking about. Now you know what skills to focus on and how to do projects, build your portfolio and even how to present your portfolio if you're asked to. But I also made another video somewhere on the screen that's going to help you do this even faster. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you over there.